Welcome to clickmeproject.com where we discuss about the process constant knowledge algorithm for peak to average power ratio reduction in MIMO OFDMA. If we see about the process constant knowledge algorithm for peak to average power ratio uh, reduction in MIMO OFDMA. Uh, so in this process uh, we are providing a method to reduce the peak to average power ratio using constant knowledge algorithm. In the first step, uh, the OFDM signals were generated and they are transmitted. After transmitting, the time to time signals from the resource block may be linearly come back using the pre-coding weights transferred to the receiver. Next, the pre-coding weights uh, can be resigned to minimize the smaller variations of the resulting signal, leading to generally reduction of the PAPR. In uh, same way, we propose an additive formulation of this problem by replacing the infinity norm by the average deviation of the OFDM blocks so that the PAPR uh, value is further reduced. The main um, a process, uh, main objective of this process is to reduce the PAPR of the signal and finally we are plotting some graphs which describes the comparison of the different uh, CMA algorithms that is uh, uh, UC CMA and ST CMA with uh, corresponding to the input uh, wave PMA signal which has high PAPR NR and the uh, output signals will be have, uh, having low PAPR values. First, initially the OFTM signal is generated. So, OFTM signal is the uh, abbreviation for the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. This describes a digital modulation scheme that uh, distributes a single data stream over a large number of carriers for parallel transmission. These carriers are called as the subcarriers of the signal. In the frequency domain, they are equally spaced around a central or of carrier. The primary advantage of OSM OAD, OFTM over single carrier schemes is that uh, ability to cope with the several channel conditions. Channel equalization is simplified because OFTM may be viewed as many. Uh, slowly modulated error band signals rather than one rapidly modulated wide band signal. Then the OFDM signal is transmitted. OFDM block with subcarriers is transmitted from each antenna. Subcarriers will include useful subcarriers surrounded by two quad bands with uh, zero energy. The useful subcarriers are further grouped into resource blocks, each consisting of subcarriers. Data of one or more users is placed in these uh, uh, orbits and then mapped the, into the uh, space the time domain using an inverse discrete Fourier transform and the space block time using coding. To allow the channel distribution to receivers, uh, each orbit also contains several parallel subcarriers that access the training sim. Then in the receiver, it is demodulated. So these processes is just like the uh, emulation process. And then uh, to, to the original uh, time signal, CMA algorithm is applied. CMA algorithm is a method uh, to update the uh, covariance matrix of the distribution. It is particularly useful if the function is still conditioned. Adaptation of the covariance matrix helps in the landing of the second uh, order modulation of underlying objective function. In contrast to most classical methods, fewer assumptions on the nature of the underlying objective functions permit. Only the ranking between the candidate solutions is suspected for learning of the sample distributions and then neither derivatives nor even the function values sensors are required by the method. Then after applying the CMA algorithm, uh, PAPR value, so we are getting the uh, CM signal. So the PAPR value of the original signal is also measured and uh, the C of the PAPR of the concept modulated signal is also measured. PAPR is reduced by the reasoning pre-coding weights that minimizes the modulation variations of the resulting signal. The C plus descent uh, CMA, STCMA and the unit circle CMA, UCCMA algorithms were used. The STCMA is a block additive algorithm in which we act to full data matrix and update until it converges like that, that the different types of CMA were also compared and finally the results were compared and the graphs were plotted. If we see the execution of the process, concept modulus algorithm for peak to average power ratio reduction in MIMO OFDMA. If you want to run the code, select the file OFDMA which is present in the source code folder, right click it and select, the file, select run file so the process will be started and uh, executed so initially the OFTM signal is uh, generated and the channels for the OFTM signals were allocated and the results were displayed then uh, we are applying constant modulus algorithm to this so for that initially the original sequences uh, is uh, present and then we are detecting the peak sequences alone and then uh, here this is the constant modulus applied constant modulus signals applied uh, process so here uh, we are getting the uh, in peaks values are uh, more uh, um, constantly so the PAPR will be uh, absolutely reduced so we can see that so initially the PAPR of the original signal is 17 so we, are, we have gotten up to 5.5 uh, like and the MSC is also calculated 
so here uh, we are plotting some graph uh, this graph represents the relationships between the original and the obtained uh, uh, OFTM signal values so we are uh, plotting the graph uh, based on all the types of the CMA algorithms that is uh, UC CMA like that uh, so here, here we are getting as a result these three graphs this graph is uh, drawn between the SNR values and the capacity bits that we got uh, in the different algorithms and we have compared that and we have uh, displayed it like this and also here uh, uh, we have uh, plotted uh, graphs uh, related to the uh, SNR and the beta rate value so this graph is plotted and the result is displayed like this and then uh, finally we have drawn a graph between the PPR values and the CCTF values so this graph is uh, drawn like this so this represents the PPR values reducing for uh, each uh, different types of the CMA processes thank you